schools live in the garden. Making all shots and we aim for the darkness. Make it get hot for a target. Kids cook spores on the crotch of a target. Zoom by y'all, bitch. Purple up, little trooper. Can't get past me, it's stuck in the future. This shit ain't all it's cracked up for me. The whole grass cool when the air's so cute. Tell about the stench of the air. Blood's on the ground, opportunity is here. All right. Hello lovies, welcome to show number two, the one that's actually like the format of the show. So this is exciting. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for joining the tea of the day. Green tea, matcha, great for vitamins. And then undergrad. Dun, dun, dun. I know, scary, but it doesn't have to be. No, it does. It's super has to be. That's part of the experience. But I'm gonna tell you how to survive it and maybe even enjoy it. God willing, enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, why'd you do it? Okay, here's what I did. Here's some tips. Here's my experience. I went to Texas A&M for undergrad, which means I went to a PWI and like a culty PWI. Like they're pretty, they're intense. I don't know another school that's more intense than Texas A&M when it comes to like traditions and rituals and all that jazz. So if I can get through Texas A&M being the non-conformist that I am and enjoy it, you can do whatever it is that you're trying to do and thrive. Perspective is key. Attitude is everything, okay? What you bring into it mentally, emotionally, spiritually is exactly what you're gonna get from it. If you go in there and you're like, everything is hard, I don't wanna do this, I hate my major, shouldn't have chose this, then yeah, you're gonna have a hard time. But if you go into it saying, listen here, God, I'm just trying to learn, I just wanna grow, meet some new people, try some new things, be better, it's gonna be a lot better, right? You wanna meet all kinds of new people. You really do. You wanna have a circle that's eclectic and zany and fun and different before I went to college, did not have like the white best friend. That just, it wasn't on purpose. It just hadn't happened. And I went in there knowing that I was going to be a super minority and just decided that I wanted to learn how to be friend, like create strong, deep friendships with people who I hadn't really experienced on that level before. And I did, and I made one of the best friends of my life She's an amazing girl. At first, it took some getting used to. And actually, I had like a white girl best friend first. That went terribly. Like just the understanding of like the black experience and or at least wanting to understand it wasn't really received. And like I was willing to understand her, but she wasn't really willing to understand me as much. And so that lack of reciprocating kind of killed that relationship. So then the next semester is when I found my true soul sister in another mother, whatever you want to call it. She's dope. She was really great. We were really good at understanding that nothing is better, just different. Our majors are completely different. Our backgrounds, experiences, lifestyles, everything. Learn something and learn how to teach other people. So. Diversify your schedule. Oh my gosh, this is so, so important. Diversify your schedule as much as you can. My major was international studies. Eventually that was too monotonous for me and I needed to create, my soul was dying. So I added performance studies as my minor. And I already had Arabic because of the international studies as a minor. So those were my two minors. So between all that, my core schedule was very diverse and mixed up. My favorite thing was that if you looked at like my course schedule, you could not guess what my major was. I would say Arabic, oceanography, tourism, step, class, and try to find some alternative ways. Try not to just follow the path set before you. That's how I ended up studying abroad five times. I was like, listen here, ma'am. How do I get out of the country? How do I get these classes knocked out in the most fun way possible? What can I do? How do we make this shake? Okay? Study abroad. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. If you can study abroad, study abroad. I understand it might be expensive. It might, I graduated early. I studied abroad five times and I graduated a semester early. It was the reason I graduated early. So don't let people tell you that it's gonna make you stay late. Now it might be how the rest of the world 
lives. You get to learn the things that you can live without, the things that you can't live without. It makes you closer to yourself. The sense of independence is absolutely amazing. Boom. Your wellness matters. Your wellness matters. Your mental, emotional, spiritual, physical well-being is absolutely imperative. It's essential. It's key. You matter. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. If you need a mental health day, take it. There's counseling on your campus, I'm absolutely sure. Use it. There is a rec center that you have free access to, most likely use that. Take classes, um, talk to people. I found a church that was like 10 minutes away from campus and it was a game changer. The pastor that I met there was non-traditional and goofy and dope and she was the like like this is our hearts they was beaten as one okay that was that was my free therapy really it was it it was criminal how much I went to her for life advice so I would look into anything that makes you feel like you on the highest plane do it that one to last each semester is a whole new animal so don't be hard on yourself like, like oh man this is my second semester I should have this by now I'm missing things and I forgot this and I didn't do that let in here let in here let in here each semester you got new classes new professors new locations you gotta run different ways there things different every time so you gotta learn it you just gotta get into it i give myself probably about six weeks about the first rounds of tests and stuff is when i'm like okay got my footing so don't be mean to yourself until about then just try and keep your footing and keep running at it babies okay now with a smile I'm not gonna dwell on this one too long but learn to fail with a smile life is hard college is harder switch them if you want to but i have not seen that work that way college is amazing it's a beautiful time it's a great time it's also one of the easiest hardest best worst things you will ever do in your life you're going to mess up it's going to get bad learn how to smile through it not a fake smile but like a soulful spiritual smile like spirit induced smile Learn who you are. Learn what you need, learn what you like, what you don't like, and believe it. Be believe it, lovies, okay? You're going to feel like I should be doing this or I shouldn't do that. Listen, nobody does it the same. Nobody does it the same, and I feel personal opinion, hot take, unpopular opinion. The people who really struggle and have a hard, terrible time in college are the ones who are doing it like they should be doing it, like others. Not the ones who adapt and figure out what works for them. Personally, I'm like, I need to be after 10, 20 and before 5, 10 for the class to start. I can't, I can't do it. I am the morning is not and I get hungry in the evening so I got to be done by them times and you need certain breaks and certain blocks of times and all that jazz I hated flashcards until I went to college and then I was a flashcard queen until I hit probably about my last semester and then I was like trying to do them and they just weren't working for me anymore so again you adjust you adapt you learn what works for you, you believe it. Don't let anybody convince you that you're doing it wrong. You got this, you're amazing. Steep it. All right, let us talk about what happened to Jesse Smollett. It was absolutely ridiculous, incredibly insane. I am horrified, mortified, disgusted. And this beautiful man, you can tell he had a beautiful, has a beautiful energy, please forgive me. And the hate and that 
the bigotry that it takes to just attack somebody is unacceptable. And I understand that we're living in a time where hate is popular and being mean is what's in, but that's, it's out of line. And intersectionality, the belief that intersectionality is a phenomenon and an actual occurrence in the world. Intersectionality, real quick, let me tell you. Intersectionality is when you have two characteristics that make you disparaged in this world. That mean other people treat you like trash, right? Black woman, black man, black gay, things like that. I went over a minute a little bit, but that was important to me. God bless him and his family. You have our prayers, you have our love and our support in your recovery. <sighs> Let's sip some tea. Let's shift the energy from the bad to the bad ass. All right, it's time for Infuse It. It's our very first Infuse It and I'm super excited. So Infuse It is the time of this show where I tell you something that I am obsessed with. Something that is moving my spirit. This time around, it is what Would Beyonce Do by Louisa Omelon. It is a comedy special. It's on YouTube. It is the reason I even came up with this segment on this show. It is a game changer. Funny, emotional, witty, energetic. If you've seen something like it before, you're fibbing, okay? It was dope-tastic, seal of approval. Yes, Like the kind of person you wanna be friends with. Mm -hmm. For our sip it, which is the part of the show where I tell you what your call of action is, call to action for you, talk to someone, talk to someone. Undergrad will be so much more enriched if you get out of your bubble, if you talk to new people, someone in your dorm, someone in your class. If you're new to school, talk to someone, get information. If you're old to school, Talk to someone, give information, share, okay? That's your call to action. I wanna hear about it. I wanna know the new people that you're talking to. And as always, be good lovies. <laughs>